Do you have random quilt blocks sitting around? Do you have bins of fabric just stacked up with no real plan? Today I will share a simple quilt pattern to use those orphaned pieces of quilt blocks and fabric in a fabulous improv stash buster design. I'm Andy. This is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as we quilt. Let's get started. Today's stitch story is all about an improvisational quilt that came from efforts to reduce the stash. We started this improv quilt with a bunch of leftover quilt blocks, things that were abandoned from other projects or just didn't turn out quite the right size or the color combination wasn't that great. We cut them into a consistent strip size. This is about two and a half by eight and a half inches. And you can see we didn't care what was going on with the original piecing. We just cut these wild and crazy random blocks. Turn your improv strips into a quilt top using any type of quilt block. In this layout, it's similar to a stacked coins pattern. I just added a background color, various widths of fabric, all scrappy, but similar in that dark chocolatey brown. And I made columns of those improv strips with the backing fabric until the quilt size was a large baby small lap size. Once the center of your quilt top is the size you want it to be, it's time to pick out a border. For this quilt, my eye was drawn initially to the cream background, and I knew I wanted a spacer border, and then the pieced border, and then the darker outer border. So I'd always audition your border fabrics because I'm looking at that, and that looks a little stark and too bold for the overall effect of this quilt. The second choice for a border fabric was a softer gray, almost taupe. You can see it there in the middle. It almost fades into the gray background on the wall, but it make, creates much more soft feel for this dark quilt. Once the top is stitched together, it is time to quilt the three layers together. For this quilt, we pieced a backing. You can see at the top part of the photo the tan fabric with the print fabric. Another great place to use up those larger pieces in your stash to create a colorful backing for your quilt. We also looked at a pantograph design all over quilting design for this quilt. Since there was so much going on with the improv crazy chaotic random piecing that we did, the quilting is meant to just provide texture for the quilt. We don't need any fancy design here, just a fun pantograph pattern that goes edge to edge across the quilt and gives it a nice texture. And this will be a wonderful quilt for a charity group. From orphan blocks to a fun, scrappy, improvisational quilt. This is just one fun way to dig into your stash, enjoy, experiment, and excel as you quilt. Thanks for watching. I share weekly videos with quilting tutorials, tips, and behind the scenes look at what I am working on. Please subscribe and click the bell so you are notified when these videos are posted. If you would like to see more free motion quilting designs, please look for the Stitch Story videos on the True Blue Quilts channel.